Hello and welcome to Steal My Winners, bringing you winning ideas to supercharge your business. On today's exciting episode, we're going to be covering the best free WordPress plugins for WooCommerce dropshipping stores. All right. So this is a site that I built with WordPress and I initially hosted it on GoDaddy, which in hindsight was a terrible idea. They're one of the more prominently advertised companies, but they are not necessarily one of the best hosts out there. If you're just starting out and you want a cheap, reliable, good host with good reputation, SiteGround is one of the better ones to go for. Now, a lot of the hosting companies are heavily promoted by affiliates and you're welcome to do your own research. I take my word for it, but things like Bluehost and HostGator are awful. Um, don't go with them even though they're heavily um, represented. They give really good affiliate commissions, so <laughs> they're pushed quite heavily. If you want really honest feedback, check out a Facebook group called WordPress Hosting. They have really, really good uh, reviews in there and they have a lot of um, people who can give you really good advice on the best hosting to go for go from everything from cheap just starting out hosting all the way up to VPS or virtual private servers where you can have much bigger setups to handle huge doors with a lot of traffic and I'll go through the plugins in, in a second so I'm gonna go through this website um, partly for me because I want to document the whole thing uh, because I'm moving away from WordPress now towards Groove. Uh, they have a deal till the 10th of December where they give you lifetime access. So if you want to check that out, I'll put a link in the description as well. But this is the culmination, these plugins, of about three months of incredibly hard work and research, trying to save as much money as possible, going for free apps that can do what a lot of the paid apps can do. So. WordPress is meant to be a free option, and it sort of is, but then when you start trying to bolt in a whole bunch of plugins, um, it can get quite complex, it can slow your website down, and you might need to start paying for premium plugins to get the functionality that you want. So all you really need if you're doing a blogging site, for example, is just a domain, which you can get through somewhere like Namecheap for like 10 bucks, maybe less, and then you also need some hosting. Uh, so like I said before, SiteGround, nice and cheap. Uh, if, if you, you know you're doing a basic uh, e-commerce site or a blogging page, that should be plenty. So let's go through here from alphabetical at the top. So advanced dynamic pricing for WooCommerce is a great tool. So what that one does is it allows you to change the pricing across your different products. So if you were to go to the actual uh, plugin, you can actually go through and you can change the pricing rules and you can choose it by category. So you can say, okay, well, all t shirts are discounted by a certain amount, or um, all uh, things in like the men's or women's categories. So here we've got uh, two sales that I've got set up. So one's just for all types of clothing and a 20% off and then a date and time. And then I've also got a buy more, get more as well, or a, a BOGO offer as it's also called. And then you have different tiers. So basically if they buy two of the same item, they get 5% off, they buy three, they get 10, etc., etc. I found that this was one of the better ones to go for. So uh, they're free, this is the free version of the plugin, the paid one's also very good. But this allows you to do quite a lot as well. You might run into some issues if you're having variable products. So things with like multiple sizes, multiple prices, you might not be able to get that functionality with the free. Uh, but I was able to get most of the functionality I wanted out of that as well. So yeah, again, well worth checking out. So if we go back to our plugins. And the other one you might notice across the top there as well, while I'm waiting for it to load, uh, one of the other things about uh, WordPress is unless you get good hosting, you might have a bit of an issue with the uh, the speed of the page loading as well. So I'm being on GoDaddy's cheapest plan, it's on shared hosting, which uh, isn't the quickest. But at the top there, you'll see that it's showing the stats of the page. So how long it's taking to load, how much data is being transferred, things like that. So the actual plugin for that one is the WP 
we go crew monitor over here so that's a really 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 good tool to help you troubleshoot your site figure out what's slowing things down uh, it gives you a lot more complex data if you really want to break it down you can see the queries that are specifically making things slow down uh, and, and show you exactly what parts of your page particularly the scripts are causing those issues one of the great things about moving to, to Groove as well is it's all handled for you. You don't have to worry about things breaking when you update plugins. You don't have to worry about uh, constantly have to update things, how to write code. Um, even though WordPress has come a long way, you still need to have a pretty basic understanding of HTML, PHP, and CSS to build a page. So when I built mine, I very quickly decided that it was going to be easy to buy a uh, theme. So the theme for this page is built on something called Cartzilla. Now, I did a fair bit of research, but just after I bought this one, I realized I probably should have gone for a different one. So it's actually not a bad theme. It comes with a bunch of different different themes that you can choose from in that set. But Flatsum is the best to go for. Um, it's really, really um, good. It's fast, it's clean, it's highly regarded. It's got all the functionality you're gonna want. Um, that's what I should have gone with and save yourself the pain and the heartache and trying to find the good one. Uh, it took me a long time to do some research to find good themes. This is, if you're going for a WooCommerce site, this is the best one to go for. So I highly recommend that one. Same price as Cartzilla as well, $59. And it comes with six months of support as well. So they'll help you make sure it runs on your site and get it looking the way you want as well, which is really good. So back to our plugins. So, uh, advanced shipment tracking, so that's more for just when you're doing the um, the fulfillment. So you're doing your, your tracking with your, your shipping partners, so you get a tracking code and you're sending out your emails that will know when their packages are arriving. Um, very helpful with that one. Uh, you'll see some of these actually turned off. Uh, Beaketing is has a bunch of functionality and most of it's paid. Uh, one of the features that it does have, which is quite good though, is the social proof. There's little pops in the you know, bottom of the screen that will say like, such and such just bought this item. So to increase that urgency and, and social proof, people will say, oh wow, someone else bought this, so I should buy this. Uh, asset cleanup is good. It allows you to turn scripts on and off on, uh, on a page by page basis. So you can help narrow down where your site's going slow as well. And the checkout address suggestions basically plugs into the Google Maps API, which when you're filling out your checkout, it just basically pre-fills a bunch of things based on um, where the person is. So like they'll start typing in their street and then Google will recommend um, to auto-fill the fields. It just helps to fill them up faster and reduces friction in checkout. Customer reviews for WooCommerce. Um, there are a lot of paid plugins that do similar things. This is one of the better free ones, but it's by CusRev. Uh, they do a great job of uh, gathering data, um, automating the sequence of sending out follow-up emails, um, setting a timer so you can say like, you know, 15 days after someone purchases, sends out an email to give them enough time to play around with the product. That sort of stuff is really good. Uh, this one's just kind of handy as well, just disabling admin notices, so um, you get a lot of junk in WordPress popping up from various different plugins with notifications and things like that, a lot of bloat, so it just helps to clean it up a little bit. And Harry's Gravatar cache is quite good, so if you don't know what a Gravatar is, it's basically just the uh, the image. When someone's uh, commenting on a post on your um, WordPress site, they'll have a little picture that they can register with WordPress and say, oh, this is this is my avatar. And so whenever it has to go and download that from the WordPress servers, that takes up bandwidth and, and slows down the loading your page. So it basically caches them on your site so you don't have to, um, pages don't load as, as slowly. HubSpot's a really good, good, good free option as well. So it allows you to have a, a chatbot on the site. Um, it allows you to have a ticketing system uh, it goes with a great app as well, uh, so it's, it's quite good functionality there if you're trying to save some money and then if you want to upgrade you can get really good functionality for that as well. But it's a good sort of base level CRM or customer relations management. Uh, hurry time is really good as well, so that allows you to put a countdown timer on your products and on your pages so that 
you can sort of say, oh, the sale expires at such, such a date, which is quite good. Instant indexing basically just um, forces, it pushes an API call up to Google, which basically says, oh, I want you to re-index my page just to make sure it's current. Ivory Search is the, the best search plugin I found. So that one adds a search bar to your, so if I just write a t-shirt in here, um, adds a search bar to your website. So it will, um, it's quite intuitive and allows you to um, see everything on the site there as well. So it'll show you categories and also break down all various different items as well. And it'll even show you if it's on sale as well. Uh, Cadence is really good as well. It allows you just to customize all the standard out of the box emails they've sent out to customers. So, you know, order confirmations and things like that. Uh, MailChimp, which if you don't already know what that is, it's just an autoresponder. So it allows you to add the MailChimp um, sign up form onto your page as well. And Notification X is one of the, the better free pop-ups I've seen as well. So with that one, it allows you to actually uh, add a notification bar to the website. So you can say with like sales are on or special deals or uh, sign up to my special thing for a coupon code, stuff like that. OMGF basically just co um, caches the Google fonts on your site, make it load a bit faster. Uh, one click upsell funnel for WooCommerce this is when I was trying to get funnels to work on WordPress. Uh, there are a, a ton of different paid options that you can go for, uh, cart flows, and there's a bunch of other ones that uh, are very different, very different prices. But one click upsell has the best free plan, so I highly recommend that one. And then we have the, uh, so Poptins is quite good, but you kind of need to pay for it, but it's um, a really, really good uh, pop-up and uh, notifications plugin. Then you've also got the password bcrypt is um, quite good. You can actually increase the security of your passwords on your site. Pretty Links is, is really good if you're planning on doing affiliate marketing. You can add various different um, you can shorten URLs and make them look neater, uh, easier to remember, things like that. Uh, these days I'm using switchy.io, uh, which I can put a link down in the comments as well if you want to check that out. There should still be a, a lifetime deal on AppSumo for that one. Um, really, really good software that allows you to basically tidy up your links. You can put custom URLs for those, make them look easier to remember and just look, look prettier than the ugly looking long affiliate links that you normally get. You can cloak those as well, which is really good. Uh, I went and had a look between Printful and Printify. Printify, um, I had a lot of issues trying to get it to, to work. Their customer support wasn't that great. Uh, and I had a lot of issues trying to get their um, designer to work. Uh, it's quite buggy. Uh, Printful, really good support, very well designed platform. Um, even though it seemed a little bit pricier when I was first looking at it, the price is almost negligible really when you think about it between the two uh, sites. Um, and yeah, just I reckon save yourself the headache, just go straight to Printful. I think you'll find it a lot easier to use. Rank Math SEO, so that's probably the best SEO plugin out at the moment. Uh, they do have a paid option, but the free one is fantastic. Uh, Yoast is probably the most a well-known SEO plugin, but it's also quite old. So it's been around for uh, quite some time and I find that the tutorial videos aren't that great and some of the functionality is, is lacking and you kind of have to pay for the, the functionality that you want. Whereas Rank Math, you get a ton for free. So well worth using that one as well. It's got a really good um, site auditor as well. So you can sort of figure out what you need to improve in your site. Uh, sequential order numbers is just if you're OCD like me, you just want to have all your order numbers in order as well. Uh, show hook is kind of handy for troubleshooting so you can actually see where the web hooks are on your site. Uh, if you want to just add custom CSS and JavaScript to your site, you can uh, integrate it with that plugin as well, the simple custom CSS and JS plugin. Uh, site kit by Google, so that just allows you to basically have the Google 
search and Google Analytics and things like that as a side window in your admin panel so you don't have to just have an extra page open which is good smart slider 3 fantastic free plugin so that is what allows me to have this funky looking slider at the front there uh, really really easy to use great um, uh, just drag and drop designer uh, and yeah the free uh, like it doesn't pay it option but the free one is just really really good uh, smush so the idea behind that one is it just uh, basically allows you to compress all of your images to to reduce the load time for the page so they have um, quite a good and intuitive interface for that one you can upgrade to the paid option but most of the free functionality is really really good the uh, only one you probably want to upgrade it for is for the WebP compressor which is an added functionality to pay for but if you go for a, a site called compress or die which I'll just show you here compress or die.com so this is a free site you can go to and you can just drag and drop your images in there it'll compress them for you and then just upload them back to your site and you can do what smash a charging for basically save yourself some money and then the I find that the web toffee stripe integration plugin uh, is is really good I just find the interface a lot nicer than the the WooCommerce official one. Super Socializer, that, that allows you to add all the social share buttons. So all these ones here, uh, really, really good free tool. There, I find the support really good for those guys as well. Uh, temporary login without password. Cool little tool, it allows you to um, generate a, a URL, which allows them to log directly into your site without credentials. And you can have set a timer on it so you can say you know it's only valid for a day or a week or whatever and when you're dealing with a lot of different plugin uh, tech support people trying to get help for your site it's nice to have a URL you can just chuck them and you know it expires you don't have to worry about you know a whole bunch of different accounts set up in your admin panel ultimate FAQ I reckon one of the better FAQ plugins for the site as well well we're checking out if you want to have an FAQ page for your, for your work on my site um, I also found that the Make Web Better uh, upsell order bump was one of the better ones I found that has some sort of free functionality that you want as well. And then a lot of those are kind of like out of the box uh, that come with WooCommerce. WordFence, in my opinion, is the, the better of the security plugins. Uh, there are a lot of other ones that are either bloated or aren't as good as they used to be. Um, I think Security is the one that got purchased by GoDaddy. Uh, not that good anymore. Used to be pretty good, but yeah, WordFence, even the free is fantastic. The only real reason you want to go with um, the WordFence paid is so that you get the uh, web, web, web application firewall, which uh, allows you to sort of do that on your website, but that will put stress on your, your backend resources so you might want to think twice about doing that. Um, the way I do it, I do everything through Cloudflare. So if you know what Cloudflare is, it's a CDN, a contract delivery, delivery network, which basically means there's lots of different servers around the world that all sort of store cached copies of your website. So it loads faster in different regions. They also they have a free um, plan, which is fantastic. So that all comes to free, plus you also get their web application firewall um, there as well so you, you can just use Cloudflare for that you don't need to upgrade WordFence for that one uh, WP Mail SMTP is quite good it allows you to sort of override all emails and make sure they're all coming from the same source um, with their free version if you want to do more than that to pay for paid so it's quite limited in what you can do but it's quite a useful tool WP Rocket is fantastic I have spent many many hours scratching my head and pulling my hair out trying to figure out why my site was so slow and it's just a really really easy plugin you just install it you run it go through the wizard it'll make your site so much faster if you don't want to pay the I don't know how much it is now I think it was about $50 when I bought it um, what you can do is you can just pay for it with your credit card and then I think for a 30-day money-back guarantee no questions asked you just ask for a refund the next day you can hang on to it for a few days and test it out and then 
the you get to keep the plugin on the, the version it's on uh, and you know by the time you actually need to upgrade it ages down the track your site should be up and running and be able to afford to, to pay the amount you need and it's I think 50 bucks a year which is pretty pretty small uh, WP rollback kind of handy so that just allows you to roll back any plugins that you have your site as well and then we also have the GIF WooCommerce wishlist which just gives you the little wish list love heart there as well so lastly there is also a really, really good uh, YouTube channel called Wholesale Ted uh, if you go and check that out they have heaps of really really cool uh, videos on drop shipping on passive income on side hustles a whole bunch of really really good stuff so um, I've seen most of her videos she's, she's really really good so check that out and if you like today's content by all means please hit the like button subscribe for more and if you want to be notified whenever we bring out new videos hit that bell thanks for your time and we will see you on the next one